That's why, you, that's why you go through camp. You know, part of camp is being able to go through the, the ups and the downs and learning each other and learning what some what everyone can do. But uh, you know, right now we've got a lot of excitement you know, as far as it, you know, within our organization, not only with the team that we have, but the new ownership and, and everything. I think there's a lot of excitement around the DC area. So we're anxious to get it going. That's one of the reasons that we decided to, to go at 12:01. We want to go as quick as we could. Cliff, we just heard from Gil for the first time in essentially nine months, and he had a markedly serious demeanor about him and face on and no smile that we're accustomed to seeing. What's your estimation of how he is, where he's at, and, and how he's carrying himself? I think right now, I think he's, you know, he's by far in the best shape he's been probably in the last three years as far as physically, both uh, weight-wise, how he looks, um, how his legs are. Um, I think he's, you know, he's worked extremely hard. He's very focused. I think he... Um, I know he wants to go out and improve a lot of things, and, and I think he's taking the right approach as far as a very, a very serious approach. Because um, you know that's that's what we have to do as a team. You know, as far as and, and I think he's knowing that you know there's a lot of excitement and just looking to, to move forward right now. You know, with the group that we have, with some good young players and with some also some veteran players. Fine line between serious and bitterness, and it almost seemed like. I mean, I don't want to pretend to know what's going on inside his head, but he came off as, uh, I don't know, bitter, angry a little. I mean, do you feel any of that? Do you sense no, any of that? No, no. I don't think anyone looks forward to talking to 50 people. You, know, <laughs> you guys aren't the nicest guys. You know, <laughs> so let's, get, let's put everything in perspective. You know? So um, I think he's anxious like everybody else. He's anxious to step on the court tonight at 12.01 and, and start working and, and, and getting better. He's got, you know, he's got a lot of things, I think, to prove to himself. I mean, this also, you know, coming off... You know, his injuries and showing people you know, how physically fit he is and ready to perform. What do you expect the scrutiny on Gilbert to be a distraction at all camp and how we handle it? No. We've, um, players, like I said, we don't, we're not talking about last year. We're moving forward. We're optimistic about the, the future and what it holds with both our veteran players and our young players. And um, so and, uh, I think that's how we're approaching it. Is there anything in particular you're eager to see how it works once they get on the court? Anything in particular you're really eager to see once they get on the court? I think you're one. We're in better, a lot better condition than we've been in the past. You know, last year I think I'm anxious to see the type of condition because we're going to have to. You know, our, one of our goals is to be one of the best conditioned teams in the league, and um, so I'm anxious to see how those guys respond to uh, the practices that we will have. It'll be very grueling, and um, I think that I, I know that just watching our players and being around our players, spending a lot of time with these players, they're they're very much into both improvement individually, knowing that that will lead, help lead the team success. And that they're very unselfish, and uh, and I think everyone is just anxious to see when you start performing now, uh, you know how John performs as far as how he makes everyone so much better because that's that's the best thing that he does his ability to make other players around him better players, and so I think everyone's looking forward to to working with that and see how they really fit in. I don't think that's I don't think there's any pressure. There's been a lot talked about. You know, can you play? You know, guys like that, and you look at some of the some of the better teams that played. You look at Detroit with Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas. Both those guys were maybe considered point guards or guys that wanted to have the ball. And I, I think both these guys will. Uh, you know, they played a lot together over the last three weeks. I think there won't be any problems. With that. You haven't had a team this young since you're new, so very early in this career. How do you prepare yourself to kind of win this kind of mix? Quite some well, I think as a coach, you look forward to it because it gets you back to your roots. You know, one of our, our kind of saying is, you know, back to the basics. You know, with this team, and I think that as a coach, you like the idea to teach, to see guys uh, improve and get better. And young teams, young teams have a tendency to, to be able to improve as far as their game physically. It's a matter of how they can approach things as far as mentally. So um, I'm as excited as I've been in a long time about you know the way this team is, how they've approached things over these. Three weeks leading into into camp as far as today. Cliff, what? you know Gil spent a lot of time plays with a chip on his shoulder. He did that when he went to college and wore the number zero. Just talking to him gets the feeling that he sort of got a chip this year. And that, does that normally make him a better player? Or do you care about that? Well, I think you know, he's going to always play within his character. You know, you know, players that have chips on their shoulders a lot of times can't play better. Some of them can. You know, he's proven the ability to be able to play at a high level, and so. Um, I just know he's gonna, you know, he's gonna do the things that we ask him to do, as as all the other players. Do. We're not gonna ask any more of him than we ask from anybody else. But we're not gonna ask any less. And 
you know, this is not a, this is not individually. It's a, it's a we and us situation. And uh, and I know that at, at this point he's bought into that. If everybody else has because they really don't have a choice. So if he doesn't come across as fun loving or smiling as we used to see, you don't care as long as that on the court he's doing what you want. Well, what, how he is around you guys can be totally different. How he is with us. You know, as I said, you guys are the nicest people in the world. But isn't, isn't that <laughs> these guys to balance to come off as being solemn and somber and serious and public and then. I mean, we know he's not, he's a joyful guy. I don't think he's going to be that, you know, as, you know, as maybe loose as he's ever been, been in the past. I think he's, you know, as you, as you get to a certain point in your career, there's certain things that become more important than other things. And I think in order to achieve some of the success that you want, you have to approach it as, you know, times, you know, we're going to get serious with him. And I think he's at, he's, you know, that's where he's at. He's, he's very serious. He's been serious in his approach. In preseason, he's been very serious as far as what he's been in terms with his teammates, and uh, and I think as anything, when players, as they are entertainers and they get in front of crowds, you know the emotion will always take over the game. And uh, he's going to still play with passion. That's one of the best, the greatest things he has is his passion to play and to exceed at a high level. I'm going to run some two guard front with them this year. I think we'll do both. You know. Um, you know, one is, um, you know, Gilbert has the ability to play off the ball so well because he can shoot it so well. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the fallacies. Everyone's talking about those guys being able to play together. And I think some people fail to realize how great a shooter Gilbert is catch and shoot. You know, he can do both. Mm -hmm. uh, but John is so good as far as with the ball and distributing it. You know, he's going to create a lot of open shots for Gilbert. And, and Gil has the ability to take some pressure off John at times when he needs to, along with there'll be times we'll play those guys and Heinrich, all three of those guys together, because they, they uh, Heinrich, you know, is, is by far is probably our, maybe our best defensive player as far as on the team, how he plays. And so, you know, he's a guy that's going to have to be on the floor too. So the cross matches potentially wouldn't bother you at the other end? No, because their size, you know, they're both six over 6'4", six wingspans of 6'10", so they're much bigger and very quick. Um, you know, play strong, play a lot of zone, you know, do a lot of things defensively. And, you know, there, we don't have a lot of guards in our league that are post-up guards, you know, bigger guards. You know, the only one I, I would say probably, it probably gives people more pride than anyone else is Steven Jackson when he played in Luka too, you know, because he's such a good post-up type player. But, um, no, I don't have any, I don't see that being a problem. With such stu uh, superstars on your team, how are you going to keep them disciplined all the time? Well, I think one, you know, and John is that his personality too, and I think that as a as a team, you know, we start things starting tonight in training camp as far as uh, where our core covenants are, you know, how we're going to play, and, and you know, you have to be in or out. You can't waver with that. So it's, I think, if, when players know expectations and uh, you know what's expected of them, it's usually easy for them to follow in. Flip, how excited are you for tonight? The Midnight Madness, all the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's it's really funny how it all started. You know, the Midnight Madness was started because I had talked with Ernie a little bit initially. Is that uh, so many times, especially when you have young players and you start training camp, you have your meeting at 6:30, 7 o'clock. The guys are so excited they don't get to sleep until 3 o'clock. You know, and they're up at six, so they get like two and a half, three hours sleep because they're their anticipation of wanting to go out and play. And I says, well, they're going to be up. Let's go, let them go play for an hour, get the anxiety out, and come back and have a great practice. You know, the next day in the afternoon. So it was more, uh, it was more set up to help the players kind of get over their anxiousness and, uh, and and to have, as I felt, a really good practice as far as. Uh, you know, tomorrow, you know, as far as, uh, you know, during the afternoon. So it's kind of taken out a little bit of life of its own. So, but I think it'll be good. We'll see. I don't know how many people we'll have. To me, that doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. That's not the purpose of, you know, what we're doing here at 1201. But I think there'll be, there'll be some people out there and they'll have a chance to see, you know, John and Gil and Heinrich and, and some of our, you know, good young players and Javel and, you know, and Kevin and some of those players too. You saw the play this summer. summer. Uh, what, was, what are your expectations this year? Man? Well, Javel one, he's, he's, he's gotten bigger, both height-wise, he's up to about 7'2", and he's gotten stronger. Um, his biggest thing is for us to be effective, he's got a rebound for us. And I think he, he's, he's done a better job of that. There's no question that the USA stint helped him, you know, playing with those guys on a daily basis. But he's got to become a, a defensive rebounder, that's his biggest thing. If he does that, he's got a chance to have a huge impact for our team, because if we can rebound the ball, you know, with John's speed, Gilbert being able to get out and run Heinrich, Al Thornton, Josh Harwood, get him back. We're going to be able to get some easy buckets in the other end.